I'm gonna walk you through a simple game plan to cook all sorts of main dishes and sides. Just combine any jewel cooked meat or seafood with a quick vegetable puree and a nice fresh salad. You'll never run out of ideas and dinner will always come out amazing. Ready? Boneless skinless chicken breasts. That probably sounds a little boring, right? Well, they don't have to be. Everyone knows it's super easy to overdo a breast and end up with something that's dry and flavor challenged. The best way to avoid that is to cook the breast nice and mellow. And that's why I love cooking my chicken breast sous vide with jewel. Since the temperature you cook your breast in is the same temp you want them to cook too, they never overcook and get dried out. The meat stays juicy and comes out packed with flavor. A quick sear in a pan gets you golden brown crust and that's it. Amazing flavor packed chicken every time. Let's cook some chicken. Okay, when we're cooking with Jewel, the first thing that we wanna do is use a visual dentist to select our temperature. You can see exactly how the chicken will turn out and just pick the one that looks most delicious to you. I'm gonna go with 149 because it looks super delicious. So now we just season our breasts with a little salt, bag them up, add some olive oil, and drop them in Jewel. It's gonna take a little less than an hour to cook, but you can leave it in longer without overcooking it. So you can go for a run if you want, or make some simple sides, whatever. For weeknight dinners, I just like to do a simple vegetable puree and a nice clean salad. The plate winds up looking really beautiful. The meal feels complete and special. So I'm gonna get the carrot puree going. I'm gonna peel the carrots. I'm gonna chop them up. I'm gonna cook them in a pot with a little bit of liquid. Pop that in a blender. And then I'm gonna go back to the pot. Keep it on low heat. And that's it, I'm not gonna think about it until I'm plating up the rest of the meal. From there, I'm gonna get my fennel going, my apples, dress the salad. I'm just gonna let that wait just for a few minutes until the chicken breasts are done. Timer's up. Jewel's telling me that the chicken breasts are ready. So we're gonna sear them up and get them nice and golden. I'm gonna grab a nonstick pan, make sure it's ripping hot. Here's how to tell. Put a little drop of water in. That little droplet of water should go away within a second or two. Add a little bit of oil and sear one side for about two minutes until it's nice and golden brown. Go a little longer. Woo! Pretty golden. Mm-hmm. Salt, pepper, a little oil. Then we're gonna slice into them. That is good looking juicy stuff. So all the parts of the meal are together and waiting for me. I'm gonna grab four plates and I'm gonna start with the puree. Puree goes down. Whoop. Nice and smooth. A little bit of greens and that perfect golden chicken breast right on top. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Super juicy. Mmm. And that's it. For more amazing dinner ideas, check out chefsteps.com. We have so many recipes and techniques to help you kill it every night of the week. And while you're there, order yourself a jewel.